Hello and welcome to another training module from Cloudmasters Inc. Chapter 1. Service Mesh Fundamentals. In this chapter, we'll explore the basic concepts and principles of service meshes, setting the stage for a deeper understanding of their role in modern application architectures. Microservices have transformed internal application communications into complex service-to-service -service networks by replacing the traditional monolithic architecture with decentralized and independent services. This architectural shift has introduced significant advantages such as scalability, flexibility, and fault isolation. However, it also comes with increased complexity in how services interact and communicate. In a microservices architecture, each service is designed to handle a specific business function and often communicates with other services over a network using lightweight protocols like REST, gRPC, or message queues. This inner service communication model enables better modularity and allows teams to develop, deploy, and scale individual services independently. However, as the number of microservices grows, the interactions between them evolve into a dynamic and intricate network of dependencies. Network Latency and Reliability Unlike monolithic systems, where function calls occur within a single application, microservices rely on network communication, which introduces latency and potential failures. Developers must consider retries, timeouts, and fallback mechanisms to ensure reliability. Distributed Systems Complexity Microservices inherently operate in a distributed environment. This creates challenges in managing data consistency, ensuring fault tolerance, and debugging issues across multiple services. Service Discovery In large-scale microservices environments, tracking the locations of dynamically scaling services becomes crucial. Service discovery tools like Consul or Eureka are often required to automate this process. Observability and Monitoring With numerous services interacting, identifying the root cause of performance issues or failures can be challenging. Advanced logging, monitoring, and tracing tools such as LKStack, Prometheus, and OpenTelemetry are necessary to provide visibility into these complex networks. Security Concerns Service-to-service -service communication over the network opens potential attack surfaces. Security measures such as mutual TLS, API gateways, and secure token exchanges, for example OAuth, are essential to safeguard data and authentication processes. Inter-service dependencies Managing dependencies between services can become a bottleneck. Techniques like circuit breakers, bulkheads, and asynchronous messaging patterns are often employed to minimize cascading failures. Data management. With services often owning their own databases, ensuring data integrity and managing distributed transactions can be challenging. Patterns like event sourcing and eventual consistency are frequently adopted to address these issues. Despite these complexities, microservices have enabled organizations to innovate faster, respond more flexibly to changing business needs, and deliver robust and scalable applications. By embracing best practices, leveraging appropriate tools, and adopting a thoughtful architectural approach, organizations can effectively manage the challenges of service-to-service -service communication within their microservices networks. Microservices have transformed internal application communications into complex service-to-service -service networks. Traditional networking assumptions are flawed, networks are not always reliable, latency is unpredictable, bandwidth is limited, and communication is not guaranteed. While microservices offer numerous advantages such as enhanced scalability, flexibility, and faster time to market, they also come with their own set of challenges that organizations need to address to ensure successful adoption. Understanding these challenges is crucial for designing resilient, efficient, and maintainable systems. 1. Increased Operational Complexity Challenge Microservices transform a single monolithic application into a collection of independent services. This distributed nature introduces operational complexity, as each service must be managed, deployed, and monitored independently. Implication Teams need to adopt sophisticated orchestration and containerization tools like Kubernetes, as well as robust DevOps practices to handle deployment pipelines and environment configurations. 2. Service Communication Challenge In a microservices architecture, services often rely on network-based communication, for example HTTP, gRPC, or messaging systems. This creates challenges related to latency, bandwidth, and potential network failures. Implication Developers must design resilient communication patterns using retries, 
back off strategies, circuit breakers, and service meshes like Istio to enhance reliability and observability. 3. Data Management Challenge In a microservices environment, each service typically owns its own database to maintain independence. This decentralized approach complicates managing data consistency, handling distributed transactions, and performing cross-service queries. Implication Patterns like event sourcing, CQRS, command query responsibility segregation, and eventual consistency are often necessary to manage data effectively. 4. Monitoring and Observability Challenge Monitoring a monolithic application is straightforward compared to observing multiple interdependent microservices. Tracing requests across distributed systems and diagnosing failures can be challenging without the right tools. Implication Organizations must implement robust observability frameworks that include logging, for example LK stack, metrics, for example Prometheus, and distributed tracing, for example Jaeger OpenTelemetry. 5. Deployment and Versioning Challenge Independent services require separate deployment pipelines and version control mechanisms. Coordinating changes across services especially when APIs evolve can lead to compatibility issues. Implication, adopting semantic versioning, backward compatibility practices and CI-CD pipelines is essential to manage deployments seamlessly. 6. Service Discovery and Load Balancing Challenge As services dynamically scale or move across nodes, locating them becomes a complex task. Additionally, balancing traffic across instances is crucial for performance. Implication, service discovery tools, for example Console Eureka, and load balancers, for example NGNX Envoy, are essential components to manage traffic and routing. 7. Security and Compliance Challenge The distributed nature of microservices increases the attack surface. Ensuring secure communication between services, managing API authentication, and meeting regulatory compliance are significant concerns. Implication Organizations must implement security best practices such as mutual TLS, OAuth for authentication, and centralized API gateways for policy enforcement and traffic control. 8. Testing Complexity Challenge Testing microservices is inherently more complex than testing monolithic applications. Unit testing, integration testing, and end-to-end -end testing must account for inter-service communication and external dependencies. Implication Practices like contract testing, mock services, and environments like Docker-based test clusters are critical to validate service interactions effectively. 9. Team Coordination and Ownership Challenge Microservices promote decentralized development with different teams owning different services. Lack of coordination can lead to inconsistencies and integration problems. Implication Clear communication, well-defined service ownership, and alignment on development standards are necessary to avoid chaos. 10. Cost Implications Challenge Running multiple services often leads to higher infrastructure and resource usage, especially if each service is over-provisioned for reliability. Implication Organizations should adopt cost management practices such as FinOps to monitor and optimize resource usage without compromising performance. Overcoming Microservices Challenges To address these challenges, organizations need to invest in automation and tooling, adopt tools for CI-CD, service discovery, monitoring and logging to reduce manual overhead and increase efficiency, standardize architectures and practices, establish clear guidelines for API design, versioning and communication protocols to ensure consistency across services, focus on culture and skills, promote a DevOps culture and upskill teams to handle the technical and operational complexities of microservices, adopt incremental approaches, gradually transition from monoliths to microservices, focusing on decoupling key functionalities before scaling further. Understanding and proactively addressing these challenges will enable organizations to harness the full potential of microservices while minimizing risks and inefficiencies. A service mesh is a dedicated infrastructure layer that facilitates and manages service-to-service -service communication in microservices architectures. As applications adopt a microservices model, the number of interactions between services grows exponentially creating challenges in communication, observability, security, and reliability. A service mesh abstracts these complexities, providing a unified framework to control, monitor, and secure interactions between services. At its core, a service mesh decouples communication concerns from business logic by introducing proxies, also known as sidecars, that run alongside each service. 
These sidecars handle all aspects of service communication including routing, load balancing, security, and observability, without requiring changes to the services themselves. Traffic management, routing, directs requests between services based on defined rules, for example, version-based routing, A-B testing or blue-green deployments, load balancing, distributes requests evenly across service instances to ensure optimal resource utilization. Retries and failures, implements intelligent retries, timeouts, and fallback mechanisms to improve reliability. Service discovery, dynamically identifies service instances and their locations, eliminating the need for hard-coded endpoints. Observability, provides detailed metrics, logs, and distributed tracing for inter-service communications, enabling teams to gain visibility into performance and troubleshoot issues efficiently. Security, mutual TLS, MTLS, encrypts service-to-service -service communication to protect data in transit and ensure trusted identities. Authentication and authorization, enforces policies to control which services can communicate and under what conditions. Resiliency, implements patterns such as circuit breakers, bulkheads, and rate limiting to prevent cascading failures and ensure service stability during high demand or partial outages. Policy enforcement, applies fine-grained policies for service access, rate limits, retries, and failover strategies without altering application code. The service mesh architecture consists of two main components, the data plane and the control plane. The data plane handles actual network traffic inspection and routing, responsible for health checking, load balancing, authentication, authorization, and generating observable signals. The control plane provides centralized configuration and management, configures data plane proxies, and offers a command line interface, user interface, and centralized API for mesh behavior control. A service mesh operates by injecting a sidecar proxy alongside each service instance. These sidecars handle all incoming and outgoing communication for the service, enabling a consistent communication layer across the architecture. This proxy-based approach means developers do not need to modify application code to implement service mesh capabilities. The two primary components of a service mesh are Data Plane, composed of sidecar proxies deployed alongside services, handles actual communication including routing, load balancing, and encryption. Control Plane, centralized component for managing and configuring the data plane, provides APIs and interfaces to define traffic policies, enforce security, and collect observability data. The value proposition of service meshes includes observability, traffic control, security, and decoupling at layer 5. Observability provides uniform monitoring across services, generating logs, metrics, and distributed tracing, enabling understanding of service dependencies and performance. Traffic control offers granular network traffic management with features like circuit breaking, latency-aware load balancing, retries, timeouts, and rate limiting. Security includes certificate authority management, service identity establishment, mutual TLS encryption, and access control policy enforcement. Decoupling at layer 5 separates infrastructure concerns from application logic, enabling independent team iteration, centralized policy management, and reduced duplicative work across services. Chapter 2 Contrasting Technologies The service mesh landscape includes notable service meshes like Linkerd Conduit and Istio. Linkerd is CNCF hosted built on Twitter Finagle and supports multiple deployment models. Conduit is Kubernetes native with a minimalist architecture and has merged with Linkerd. Istio supports multiple infrastructure types automatic sidecar injection and extensive ecosystem support. Service meshes are compared with other technologies like container orchestrators, API gateways, and client libraries. Container orchestrators focus on infrastructure-level concerns but miss service-level capabilities. API gateways primarily handle north-south traffic, while service meshes handle east-west traffic and are often deployed complementarily. Client libraries face challenges like infrastructure code duplication, inconsistent implementation, and difficulty in updating. Chapter 3 Adoption Strategies Adoption paths for service meshes include greenfield deployment and incremental adoption. Adoption paths for service meshes include greenfield deployment and incremental adoption. 
Adoption paths for service meshes include greenfield deployment and incremental adoption. Adoption paths for service meshes include greenfield deployment and incremental adoption. Adoption paths for service meshes include greenfield deployment and incremental adoption. Practical adoption steps involve starting with observability, gradually expanding mesh capabilities, considering organizational maturity, and understanding specific infrastructure needs. To better understand the real-world impact of service meshes, let's explore some case studies of successful implementations. Companies like Netflix, Airbnb, and Twitter have leveraged service meshes to enhance their microservices architecture. By adopting service meshes, these organizations achieved improved service reliability, faster deployment cycles, and enhanced observability. For instance, Netflix utilized a service mesh to manage communication between its numerous microservices, leading to significant reductions in downtime and improved user experience. Airbnb, on the other hand, focused on integrating a service mesh to streamline its service discovery and load balancing, which resulted in more efficient resource utilization and lower operational costs. These examples illustrate the transformative potential of service meshes in various industries and underscore the importance of thoughtful adoption and customization to meet specific organizational needs. Service mesh limitations include nascent support for distributed debugging, topology visualization multi-tenancy, and multi-cluster management. These areas are still evolving, and it's important to stay updated with the latest advancements to make informed decisions. 